Uh, it seems that the two best videos on my channel are PC panel related. So why not just add on to that? In this video, I'll be talking about this new device that PC panel released. After three years of their PC panel original, they finally released a new product. This is the PC panel RGB. So I'll let you know my thoughts on it in this video. Before I get into the video, I have to make a quick disclaimer. I do work on paid projects with PC Panel. You can see my last video up here where I worked with them on an ad. So they pay me for those types of ads. I do video and photo. But for this review, they are not paying me. However, they did send me over this product for me to review. So here it is. Here's the PC Panel RGB. I'm gonna be talking about what's different about it, what sets it apart from their older version, their PC Panel wood version, I guess. If you have this one, do you really need to upgrade? And if you're looking to buy a new one, is this really worth the $50 or $60 price tag? For some reference, I used to stream a lot on Twitch.tv, and my PC panel was definitely the saving grace of my streams. With it, I was able to control volume for apps such as Discord, my music, and the in-game volume. So with that, this was an amazing device. If you want to see the review, I'll leave a link for it as well. This new version has all the same functionality of the older wooden version. So if you've seen that review, know that it has all the previous features, so I won't go over that as much in this video. On top of those features, they've added a lot of new stuff. Of course, they added what's noticeable, the new RGB. At first, I thought this was kind of a gimmick, but there's a really important purpose for it that I'll talk about a little bit more later. They've also added automatic connections. With the old one, you have to plug it in and then select it from a dropdown. You don't have to worry about that anymore. You plug it in and it's recognized automatically, which is awesome. And in the software, they're adding more control and more native app support. Recently, they just came out with OBS Studio support. So you install a plugin to your OBS and then you can control things like microphones and sounds in OBS from the PC panel. Of course, you still have all the basic features of the original PC panel. Each knob is a knob as well as a button when you click in. So that allows you to change volume for your overall volume, a focus tap, or an app of your choice. And on top of that, with the button, you can set it to do I don't know, whatever you want. You can set it to do media, so you're gonna do play, pause, forward, backwards, and then you could have it to change. One of them I have sets it from my headphones to my speakers. So if I wanna switch, if I'm done talking to people, switch over to my speakers with a button, that's really useful. And I have a bunch of other features that you can do with the buttons. You can set up your own macros and commands, which is super, super useful. Okay, so I broke out the laptop. I just got the PC panel set up. I'm here to show you my favorite new feature that they added with the PC panel RGB. On top of their great new software, they've added in profile switching to the PC panel. Something that wouldn't have been possible on the older wooden version, because if you have multiple profiles, you'd never be able to tell which profile you're on without looking at something on your screen. Now with the RGB, I have my left knob bound to profile. So when I switch, I can get an indicator that moves across so I can tell what profile I'm in. So with a different profile, I can set different knobs to be different programs different buttons to do different things. It just increases the customizability of PC panels so much more, and it makes having just one device even more powerful. The software even updates in real time as you turn a knob. This little attention to detail that really makes this product so amazing. While we're still in the software, I might as well talk about the different lighting effects they have. So you can see they've got a nice rainbow wave, and you can customize your own wave that can go back and forth, or you can make it bounce back and forth like that. And finally, they have a breath. So this just goes from bright to dark in a very like smooth motion. And then probably my favorite one so far, you can configure it so your knob volume changes based off the brightness that you set. So right now, I have all the knobs maxed out. But if I turn one down, oh, it gets dimmer, and then it gets brighter again. So I think that covers the software and the features of the device pretty well. Let's just talk about the hardware. I wanna go over the changes they made from the original wooden design with their new RGB plastic case. So to start, I wanna say I really liked the wooden case they had. It was very sturdy and very solid, but I understand that this could be a very expensive design. It's milled out from a single block of wood and it would probably take a lot of time to make. Something I didn't like about the old design was they had no rubber feet on the bottom. So if you wanna just use this on your desk, it would slide around a lot whenever you push a button. The additional rubber feet is a nice touch. It keeps it in place so when you're using it on a desk, it doesn't slide around. Overall, I don't mind the look of the new PC panel. It looks okay. I prefer the old one, but that's a decision that's up to you to make. So there you have it. That's the PC panel RGB. 
If you want to buy one, I'll leave a link in the description. I have no affiliate code this time, so if you want to get it, you have to get it at full price. Thanks for making the end of the video. I'll see you all in the next one.